What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at how to subtract three digit numbers. Let's go! Okay, today we're looking at this question here, 452 subtract 335 and we're going to follow these two tips. We're going to use column labels and we're going to start with the smallest value. So let's see what that looks like. Well, our column labels, we are simply just going to label the numbers that are in our big number. So we have 452, which is made up of two ones, five tens, and four hundreds. And then we have 335, which is five ones, three tens, and three hundreds. By doing this short tip, it means that we are less likely to make mistakes when we put them in our columns, because we're going to be using column subtraction today. So ones, tens and hundreds again and now I can simply put my numbers in place. But before I can start to put these numbers in I have to understand something very important about subtraction. Subtraction is what's called not commutative which means I can't put these numbers in any order and expect to get the same answer. For example if I had 5 subtract 2 I get 3 but if I move these two numbers around and I put 2 subtract 5 I do not get 3. I get a totally different answer. I actually get a negative answer in this case. Therefore, it's super important which way round we put these numbers in our question or in our columns. So the question reads 452 subtract 335. So that means I have to start with my 452 on the top and I'm subtracting 335. And I can check that I put these in the right columns by checking I have a 2 and a 5 in my 1s, a 5 and a 3 in the 10s, and a 4 and a 3 in the 100s. Now I'm ready to begin. So let's put my equals line and I can begin. My second tip said to start with the smallest value. And in this case, the smallest value is, of course, our 1s. And in the 1s column, we have the question 2 subtract 5. So let's think about this very carefully. 2 subtract 5. If I have two apples, here are my beautiful apples, can I take away 5? Let's see. 1, 2, no. I can't take any more than 2 away because obviously I only have 2 in the first place. So what can I do? Well, I've got to look next door because if I look in this tens column, I can understand that this 5 is actually 50. So if this little 2 says, hello, Mr. 50, can I borrow some of you? And he puts this down to a 4. So let's cut that 5, make it a little 4, put that there. That means I can borrow a whole 10 over here. So let's think about what I just did there. There was a 50 in this little box here. I've turned it down to a 40 just here, and I've taken a 10 and given it to my 2. So that means I now have 12 apples. Now I can do it because now my question actually says 12 subtract 5. So now I have my 12 apples. Let's cut away 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now let's count how many I've got left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Whew, that was difficult, wasn't it? So now I've finished my first column, 12 subtract 5 is 7. Awesome. Now I'm ready to look into my tens column, and I can see that I now have 5 subtract 3. Ah, incorrect. Remember, it was a 5, now it's a 4. So this 5 is not a 5, it's a 4. So 4 subtract 3 equals 1. So in the answer column to the tens, I would have a 1. And then I didn't do anything to my hundreds, so I still have the 4. Subtract 3, which is here, and 4 subtract 3 also obviously equals 1. So my total answer to 452 subtract 335 is 117. Let's put the answer at the end of my number sentence and give myself a big tick. Awesome. Let's look at what to remember. First, we must always begin by putting the column labels. Begin subtracting from the smallest value, and we must always subtract from the top number. This is really important. Remember, the top number is the number we have, and the bottom number is what we're subtracting away. If there is not enough, we can borrow from next door. Don't be afraid to knock next door and borrow. Your turn. Have a go at answering these two questions. Put your answers in the comment section. 
I'm going to make sure I mark every single one. And there we have it. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in another video. If you've enjoyed this, please share it with a friend. But for now, guys, peace out.